Appalachian Wireless has some of the best data rates in wireless on our plans, and not to mention an amazing deal on one of our hottest smartphones. But that's all the time I have to explain. See store for details. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. 20 years ago today, a 911 call was made in Greene County, Tennessee, that shocked residents in both Tennessee and in Pikeville, Kentucky. It was uh, called in as uh, shots fired. Uh, two vehicles went into Paint Hollow Lane, only one left. And when Deputy Morgan arrived at the one lane gravel road, he realized what that caller had heard. We only found the one vehicle uh, that had been left behind and then eventually we found the bodies. Vidar and Delphina Lililid and their two children had been shot multiple times. Two-year-old Peter, who had been shot in the eye, was the only survivor. And over the next several hours, it became clear that this crime was pointing to six teenagers who had left Pikeville just a few hours earlier en route to New Orleans, Louisiana. I saw it on television, and I knew it was Joe's car. It was up on a, a flatbed. And I thought, oh, no, that's Natasha and them laying dead. And that was what I thought, you know, because, yeah, I couldn't see. I thought somebody had killed them all. According to statements from Madonna's daughter, Natasha Cornett, and her five friends, after several unsuccessful attempts to hotwire cars on their way out of Pikeville, they had stopped at this rest area to figure out a plan. And that's where they met the Lillilid family. And unlike many stories that you may have heard over the last 20 years, it was actually Vidar Lillilid who approached the six young men and women at a picnic table at this rest stop on I-81. And it wasn't what he said to the teenagers that changed everything, it was what he was driving. The family was taken at gunpoint in their full-size van to Payne Hollow Lane, just a few miles up the road. And that's where the hard facts end and the speculation as to what happened next begins. Part of me says I would like to know uh, what really happened that night, part of me would not, uh, but I don't think the truth has ever been told. Natasha Cornett, Karen Howell, Jason Bryant, Crystal Sturgill, Dean Mullins, and Joseph Reisner all pleaded guilty to three counts of first degree murder, and they're now 20 years into life sentences without the possibility of parole. Reporting from Greenville, Tennessee, for EKB News, I'm Shannon Deskins.